Biologists say the Gulf and Atlantic Oceans are on the brink of potentially one of the biggest environmental disasters, and many people are not even aware of it. Back in the 1980s, someone in Florida decided their aquarium fish were too pretty to part with permanently. So, instead of letting them go the usual way, they let them go into the ocean. This is how the lionfish was introduced to these waters. The lionfish are stunning creatures with zebra stripes and elegant fins. But today, they're one of marine history's most destructive invasive species. Billions in damage. Entire ecosystems changed forever. All thanks to a few pet fish. Before we dive into how this happened, go ahead and hit that like button, and let's get started. Let's kick things off with something that sounds impossible. Scientists ran genetic tests on the millions of lionfish, now infesting the Atlantic and Caribbean. Their findings? Almost all of them came from just six to eight original fish that originated from the Philippines. All are part of a single batch of aquarium imports. But what makes lionfish such unstoppable invaders? Well, for starters, they're eating machines. A single lionfish can gobble up to 79% of juvenile fish in its hunting area in just five weeks. Their stomachs can expand to 30 times their normal size. Imagine being able to eat an entire month's worth of food in one sitting. One female lionfish can lay up to 2 million eggs a year. They spawn every four days, all year round. Those eggs ride the currents, spreading the invasion further and faster. And with a lifespan of up to 15 years, you can see why marine biologists started sounding the alarm. Their spread is like something out of a horror movie. The first sighting of Florida happened in 1985. At first, nothing much seemed to happen. By 2024, they'd spread across 4 million square kilometers of ocean. Lionfish have almost unfair hunting skills. They herd small fish into corners using their fan-like fins, like cowboys rounding up cattle. Then with lightning-fast bursts of speed, they strike. We're talking movement so quick that high-speed cameras barely catch them. Here's the kicker. They're smart. Researchers have seen lionfish teaming up to hunt, something they rarely do in their native waters. They take turns corralling prey, creating inescapable traps. Some even use their fins to create currents that confuse their targets and their gorgeous flowing fins. Well, they're armed. Each spine is loaded with venom that can cause excruciating pain, swelling, and even paralysis in humans. The lionfish invasion damage isn't just environmental, it's economic. In Florida, the lionfish invasion cost the fishing industry about $150 million a year in lost revenue. Across the Caribbean, where countless communities rely on fishing and tourism, the numbers jumped to over $500 million annually. All tourists were canceling their trips to the Bahamas due to the lionfish invasion. But at the same time, something surprising happened. Someone tried eating one. Turns out, lionfish are delicious. Suddenly, lionfish started popping up on restaurant menus. Lionfish fishing tournaments became a thing across the Caribbean. At one Florida divers caught over 1,400 lionfish in just two days. High-end restaurants now pay as much as $20 per pound for lionfish. However, it's important to note that caution is necessary before deciding to hunt them. Each lionfish must be carefully speared or netted by hand due to its venomous spines. In Florida alone, around 400 lionfish stings are reported annually, and experts believe the real number is much higher. Victims often describe the pain as worse than a scorpion sting. For some, the pain is so overwhelming they've passed out underwater, creating a life-threatening scenario for divers. In 2015, a team of engineers developed an underwater robot called the Guardian LF-1. This little machine uses artificial intelligence to identify lionfish, zap them with an electric shock, and collect them. Additionally, some marine biologists started training sharks and groupers to hunt lionfish. They'd feed the predators dead lionfish hoping they'd develop a taste for them. And believe it or not, in some places, it worked. In 2022, several Caribbean nations decided enough was enough and launched Operation Spearhead, the largest coordinated effort to control lionfish yet. They're trying everything from traditional spearfishing to high-tech solutions. They've started training moray eels to hunt lionfish. These tough, aggressive predators are perfect for the job. Early trials have shown incredible success. 
Lionfish numbers in some areas have dropped by 30%. In Florida, researchers tried the acoustic traps. They found that lionfish are drawn to certain low-frequency sounds. Using underwater devices that play these sounds, they can lure lionfish into nets while leaving native species unharmed. Early results. These traps can catch up to 100 lionfish in a single day. Despite numerous efforts by scientists to eliminate lionfish, millions still thrive in the ocean depths. What are some other effective ways to tackle the lionfish invasion? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon with more exciting content.